Hi guys, Mud here with Golden Motor. Today we're going to be putting these bad boys on this bike. So here are the parts that we use to convert this dual uh, dual drive uh, fat bike. Uh, these are the two Fat Pi 5 kits plus uh, the two batteries. They're 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour batteries. We tried to put a twist throttle on this one, but we weren't able to because of the integrated uh, shifter. Uh, so we put a thumb throttle on there. Uh, we also put a cruise control button on there and we had to splice in a splice in two uh, wiring harnesses together. Um, also the brake levers and we used a couple extra parts um, some brake uh, tire removal tools, um, some zip ties to clean it up, and some torque arms as well. So the first step we took out both of the, the wheels um, from the bike. We took out the disc brakes and the free wheel so we can mount it on the motorized wheel. So with this free wheel, we had a little bit of trouble because it's a 190 millimeter dropout and these kits are meant for 195, but we were able to make it work. Uh, we deflated the tires and took the tires off so we can mount them on the new wheel. Um, these tire removal tools are great. Um, they make taking the tires out super easy. One of them holds it with the spoke and the second one you can just run it along the rim and it comes right off. So the front is a 135 millimeter dropout and this one fit right in like a glove. That's a sea washer that comes with our torque arms. I didn't put the tab washer here because um, the, it wouldn't latch onto the fork. Um, so I'll probably uh, fabricate a second torque arm. These sleeves are great. Uh, they look a lot better than just having um, the hose clamps bare um, and they prevent from scratching and scraping and chafing on the fork. So ideally you would want your upper torque arm to be on the inside of the other arm um, so it lines up to the center of the fork and we did fix that afterwards. And then we tighten the nut at the end, uh, make sure this is super tight. Now to the rear. Uh, rear was a bit of a challenge to uh, fit in there. Um, I had to take the chain out to, to get it in there.
and the freewheel was not letting it go down all the way by like one or two millimeters so we took the freewheel out and we put a six speed instead of a seven speed that you don't even need a freewheel spacer in the back since uh, it's hollow Taking the chain off isn't necessary, I just took it off because it was easier. And once we did those things, then it lined up right away. So now um, this is part is a little bit different than all the other kits um, with dual drives. Uh, we spliced that into the other motor. So you have two motor plugs and then one going up to the handlebar. So I just found it easier um, to do it this way where I just cut the wire and then um, solder all three of them together. Um, if you want the other way where uh, you splice open the main cable, uh, I'll put that on, uh, on, on the suggestions on the top right. We don't need that. So we're just taking out the brake cable here so we can put on the e-brakes. That's the cruise control button. So that's a five pin plug, uh, that's for the throttle. And then uh, the two button switch is a four pin plug. So you just have to match up the plugs, line up the arrows and plug it in. And the brakes are a three pin plug.
So for the clamps, you want to make sure you go under the cables. Um, I realized after putting the clamp on that the cables were there. Uh, thankfully, the wires didn't get messed up and I fixed it. All right, folks, so that's how you build a fat pie dual drive build. Uh, so now let's give her a test run. Lights are on, throttles engaged. Uh, let's see. 